Today, we're here at Park Hill Orchard to check out some of the different things they have to offer. Known most famously for their fruit picking and sculptures in the field, I think there's going to be a lot to do and explore today. So let's go check it out. Hi, my name is Russell Brain. I'm the co-owner of Park Hill Orchard. So this farm was started in 1870, not long after the Civil War. It was a general farm, like farms were back then. Around 1923, it uh, was, uh, um, went into a family called the Cenas, and they had it for three generations, all through the 1900s. Uh, they converted it slowly but surely to an orchard, and uh, we uh, took it over in 2007. Um, it had been not used for over a decade. Uh, during the transition and so it was in really bad shape I guess you could almost say in ruins so it took us um, almost 10 years to get it back up and running again when we got here East Hampton was really blossoming a lot of work had been done in previous decades to lay the groundwork for East Hampton to have a bit of a a cultural renaissance. Um, it went from almost all boarded up in an abandoned downtown to a thriving downtown. And arts were very important to that. Um, and so we sensed that when we got here and we made friends with uh, Jean-Pierre Pache who runs um, the now the Big Red Frame uh, frame shop and uh, the Alusi Gallery in, uh, in the Old Town Hall. So we sort of modeled it on his image of this Swiss uh, sculpture park and um, and so we said well let's try one show and see how it goes it, it went over real well and uh, then we decided let's make it a biennial let's do it every other year it's a really good uh, day trip like you can come out and spend an entire afternoon here and um, and not be too bored we also have lots of good snacks in our farm stand Happy. Let's go. It's apple time, boys. Apple See you next, time. Uh, next week, uh, Chief. Whoa! <laughs> shit! <laughs>